partnered by Times Influence. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode on India's finest workplaces. This week we bring you a dominant player from the Indian manufacturing sector which is catering to various industries across the globe. Garware Wall Ropes is one of India's leading players in the technical textile sector, providing specialized solutions to the cordage and infrastructure industry worldwide. The company manufactures and provides world-class solutions in high-performance polymer ropes, fishing nets, sports nets, safety nets, aquaculture cages, coated fabrics, agricultural netting and geosynthetics. In this episode, we will unearth the company's work culture coupled with their best practices and why they are one of India's finest workplaces. Under the leadership of Vayu Garware, the company has diversified into new business segments in line with the objective of delivering innovative solutions worldwide. Let's find out why Garware makes the cut as one of India's finest workplace in the manufacturing industry. Vayu, welcome to India's finest workplaces. Thank you. To begin with, under your leadership, Garware has expanded its business from India to 75 other countries. Talk to us about this journey of yours and also highlight the role of human resource in this. Sure. So um, about nine years ago, we decided that we needed a reason for why we were actually coming to work every day. Mm -hmm. So about the top 25 people, we had a consultant from the US and we went on a two day offsite mm -hmm. and we decided that we needed to come up with a statement of what is the company about mm -hmm. and why do we come to the office every day. So we, we deliberated a lot, we had a lot of intense discussion and we finally came out with our mission statement which is to innovate around application and to create new products to enhance the value of our customers globally. Mm -hmm. So we added application expertise and we realized that around that we needed to innovate. Okay. So this actually formed the core of the transformation. So with this, we already had a great team, but the team took on the challenge to really move from internal focus to external focus. Now, along with this, of course, we also realized and we wanted to be sure that we didn't lose some of the core values on which the company was built right. uh, and the tradition that the, they have come from. One is my grandfather. He started a lot of different companies and built a lot of different companies. And every time he started as an entrepreneur and he had an intimate knowledge of the people in the company. So right to the level where he would walk around the shop floor and he knew every single worker working on all the machines. And that we believe very strongly and we continue that family bond that exists between the people that work in the company. Second value is my father. He used to drive a very strong culture of ownership and delivery. Mm. So an entrepreneurial view. And that is what we really believe in ownership. Mm. So to take an example of this, there was a gentleman at our Y factory and on a bank holiday to make sure the truck that was carrying our goods broke down. So he went to his house, he took money, he went, he got the truck fixed to make sure that truck reached on the bank holiday to the customer so that in the morning the goods were there mm -hmm. and the customer was fully satisfied. It was a very critical application. So this kind of ownership is another very core value that we believe in and we go on developing. You know, we have a uh, very good process that we follow for introducing any product in uh, market. It starts from, of course, development, but then manufacturing also. So at each stage of uh, development, the uh, people are involved, those who are in that area. So it starts from workers. So they are involved right from the beginning during development. So they know, they learn during that time how uh, the product and why that product is being changed like this. And that imparts uh, the skill to them. Moving on to the next one, Vayu. You have been involved in the growth of the company and you're also responsible for its transformation. 
Did you face any challenges in managing your human resource during that phase? There are always challenges. And I think one of the biggest in a growing organization is the blend of new people coming in mm -hmm. and the older people who have been here for t some time. Mm -hmm. And ours is a relatively old company. So when new people started coming in now, today we have about half of the, the population, the staff, is less than five years old. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, a lot of people who are 15 years, 20 years, have been with the company. So blending that together is always a challenge, but I think that's been one of our greatest strengths. So we have the fresh energy, thinking, process orientation, IT orientation of some of the new people. And we have the deep knowledge about our business, our applications, our products, our machinery with the older people. And that coming together has been a great uh, value actually. So that challenge has turned into a very good value add for us. How did your workforce react to you know, the changes that you were proposing in your organization? Can you talk to us more about that? So, you know, uh, one of the big changes was alignment. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier, we didn't used to have a strong communication program so that everyone knew where the company was heading right. and what we were trying to do. So we, it was a very top-down approach. One person would decide the direction and that's how we went. So one of the things we did is we, again, in this off-site process, we introduced a method of silent brainstorming. So very unusual actually, it's a different way of doing things. Silent brainstorming. Yeah, so people were not allowed to speak. Okay. So people had to write down their key uh, views or key issues and give it a rating. Okay. And this was added up democratically to see where the key imperatives were coming. So I think this was another very big change in the way that we worked, which allowed people to, to discuss their thoughts and once we closed, we closed. And initially, people didn't understand. We were talking, we were communicating to all, everyone, workers, to staff, what was our plans. Mm -hmm. People didn't realize why these guys, you know, talking, this, we've never yeah. done this before. But I think over time, people understood that this was very important because everyone then started to feel as a contributor. Vayu, your company has grown over the years, but that hasn't affected your employees and their workload and their work-life balance. Can you talk to us more about that? You know, at the end of the day, I think if you enjoy what you're doing, then you'll always find a way to balance. Right. So we do a lot of work in engagement because at the end of the day, whatever work-life balance we may do, we still spend a lot of time in the office, almost equal to the waking time at home. If you spend eight hours here, you awake for another eight hours. Okay. So it's important that the office feels like another home like your second home, that the team here is like your second family. And it is. You spend so much time with these people and right. every day. It includes a lot of fun at work. So a lot of the balance is also brought by fun at work. The, the workplace needs to be enjoyed. On this note, Vayu, we also got in touch with some of your employees to find out about their work-life balance. Here's what they said. The journey has been really exciting and diverse for me. Uh, I have got exposure to lead on the shop floor in the area of production and also lead a uh, couple of you know continuous improvement projects in the area of manufacturing excellence. And uh, the learning has been uh, very good. And the roles were challenging yet very fulfilling and there was a perfect uh, you know, blend of work-life balance. Before joining Garwari, I was living abroad uh, where I completed my PhD and I was a serial entrepreneur for almost a decade. Um, so now actually at Garwari, I feel at home because I'm able to you know, enjoy the same entrepreneurial spirit. Last but not the least, Vayu, can you give us an overview about your employee development initiatives? You know, finally, in a manufacturing company, people say machinery is so important, technology is so important, but we believe, uh, finally, machines are inanimate, right? We, the people run the machines, the people do the business. So we really believe that people are the core. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, we go through a lot of processes for development of, of our people. Starting with assessment centers, we run assessment centers, so we understand strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And then for individuals, we create development plans. Okay. This can include classroom training, it includes on-the-job training. Uh, often we send them to IIMs or ISB and other institutions. We often also give them coaching, maybe for a year or two years. Uh, so we have a very structured coaching approach. 
So we spend a lot of time on all these things and we have almost individual uh, development plans. We call them IDPs, individual development plans, for all people. Why you, your vision has inculcated the right values in your workforce and it has also impacted on their work culture. We got in touch with some of your employees to find out more about this. Here's what they said. Everybody have really welcomed me yeah, in, the best, in the best way. And what I really have discovered is that Europe has to take care. India is really on the, on the forefront when it comes to engagement, innovation and ability also to, to, to invest into customer, good customer solutions. The prime reason for me to join was the hunger for growth that I perceived in my discussions with the senior management when I was exploring this opportunity. After joining, uh, it was clearly manifest in our discussions and meetings. Um, I, I'm seeing a strong set of processes that support this appetite for growth. What I like about working in Garbare is that there is a tremendous sense of alignment in the values and the, the mission and the values of the company, right from the top to the bottom. And these mission and values are actually uh, kept in mind while taking day-to-day -day operative decisions. It's time for a short break. See you on the other side. Welcome back. We continue on our journey at Garwari Ball Ropes. We now bring you insights on their best practices and employee management. Social and recreational activities can help promote teamwork and mental well-being among employees. Garwari Ball Ropes offers an array of interesting options for their employees to choose from. They have various sports facilities, a gym and a fully furnished dormitory ensuring a comfortable stay for its employees away from home. Along with providing a host of leisure options, the company also conducts medical camps for its employees at their manufacturing plant taking care of their well-being at work. Steering the company to new realms is Shujaul Rahman. Let's find out his mantra for keeping his workforce happy and motivated. Shujol, welcome to India's finest workplaces. Thanks, Sana, for calling us. Thank you. To begin with, can you talk to us about the culture of alignment, collaboration, and it also believes in seeking feedback from its employees. Can you talk to us more about this? See, what we do is typically is when we start planning for next year, we try and co-create the plan. So what we do is initially, the top management, about 30, 35 people go for an offsite. And through a process of silence, uh, silent brainstorming, we create the plan. Mm -hmm. We do a discussion on the SWOT of the business, and everybody is involved. And through a brainstorming, which is silent, everybody selects uh, top of top four or five projects for next year. Okay. And then those projects are cascaded down the line. So these department heads, which come back from the offsite, they download it to the team. So everybody is involved in creating the strategy. <coughs> and then what we do is when we uh, merge it with the budget for the year. Uh, typically what we do is we do a goal alignment workshop meeting for two to three days wherein everybody is goals is aligned goals are aligned mm -hmm. and then that is downloaded so it creates a ownership of the goal of the objective and we we you know drive that with energy uh, moving on uh, cross functional collaboration projects strategic growth projects are driven by senior leaders in garware so what is the impact of this exercise on your workforce can you talk to us more about that First and foremost, you know, what happens, sometimes organizations create silos. And when you are working in a cross-functional setup, you know, these silos are broken. So a manufacturing person will work with HR and HR person will work with marketing or with R&D or with legal to create a plan which is implementable and all aspects of business are taken care. So because if you are not taking care of all aspects of business, maybe the plan is not very complete. So that's what we do. That's the way, that's the benefit of it. Shujol, on this note, we would like to bring you some reactions from your employees at Garwari Wall Ropes about their career growth. Here's what they said. You know, fresh out of the business school, you know, I had a desire to achieve. The first year, 
In Garwani wardrobes, as a management trainee, one is generally exposed uh, to the various departments, the various products, and the nitty-gritties that goes in delivering results. I joined Garware through campus placement in the year 1999 as trainee engineer. And I had an opportunity to work in various roles of business development, sales and marketing, tendering, technical services, application development, commercial as well as project execution. Today, when I reflect on 18 years of my career, I feel contented because Garware has aggressively engaged me in career growth. They also supported me to uh, complete my MBA from a premier institute. Shuchol, can you talk to us about attracting new talents across various industries at Garware? See, we started this journey of uh, GET and MT about five years back. And we, we t go to the top business schools. And the story that we offer them to the you know, young minds in G as a GT and MT is that the kind of opportunity that you get in Garware, you want probably in three years you will get an opportunity which you will get typically, you may take 10 years to reach elsewhere. One is an example of a person called Sujit Mishra who joined uh, from a campus uh, you know, as MT three years back. And today, he's, uh, next month, he's going to be uh, going to Canada to head the USA Canada business. Okay. That's the story that we offer, that you are going to get the kind of exposure that you get in the first three, four years is very, very good, vis-a-vis -vis what you get typically in any other place. Shujol, how do you retain your key talents? What are the other perks of working at Garwari for your employees? So first and foremost, one is that we have a very differential pay. Mm -hmm. People who do well, uh, you know, sometime in, a, in, a, in the sales team or in operation or marketing team, sometimes people may earn four times the normal average salary in terms of incentive. So that's one, one motivation for them. Secondly is we have long-term incentive programs. We, we have an interest-free uh, car loan. Okay. And you know, and people are obviously very keen to take it because you know they get to hire, get a get a very good car at an interest free loan, and also the policy is made in such a manner that the benefit that we get on the on the on the, on the you know tax etc. that also is given to the employee. So it's a very attractive scheme, and that's a very you know good way to own a car kind of thing. Obviously, we give a lot of perks in terms of education enhancement and you know upgradation of skills. So we send people to ISB, IAMS, all the top institutes, and uh, employer doesn't have to pay anything, and it's obviously a part of the overall development of the plan, development plan of the person. So it's you know that way that's the way we are able to retain people. Apart from these perks, I would like to add one more thing that uh, the company also sponsors for a higher education like uh, in, in premier institutes like ISB and IM as well. So I am a testimony of that. Yeah. And uh, yes, I had a dream of buying a four-wheeler, which uh, you know, that's uh, any common man or a salesman's uh, this thing. But it happened very early in Garware for me as well. Human resource is the backbone of every organization. It is important to enhance the overall effectiveness of the organization and also enable the strategic priorities of the business. To find out more about the human resource management, we got in touch with Ravindra Mishra, head of HR at Garware Wall Ropes. We are in conversation with Ravindra Mishra, head of human capital at Garware Wall Ropes. Mr. Mishra, welcome to India's finest workplaces. Thank you. To begin with, Mr. Mishra, every organization lives on missions and values. Can you highlight some of the initiatives that you have taken to inspire your workforce at Garware Wall Ropes? As far as mission is concerned for us, that's the binding force, that's the purpose, that's the reason for our existence. So all of us certainly imbibe that and we live to that. Now our purpose is that uh, we instill all our values which are with respect to improve ownership, enhance and bond with our all the employees who are working with yes. us. And uh, these mission and values collectively put together for us are the uh, deriving force for the culture what we believe in and the culture which we would like to develop in the, uh, in the organization and with which we would like to live with. We conduct several initiatives uh, throughout the year at various locations and accordingly all these things are managed well. 
सो आई एम श्योर हरमीत विल टेक यू थ्रू द कम्प्लीट लिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस इनिशिएटिव्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लिविंग द वैल्यूज वे देर आर वेरियस रिकोगशन अवार्ड्स देर आर इनिशिएटिव थ्रू आउट द ईयर वी कंडक्ट सर्टन वर्कशॉप वी हैव डन ट्रेन द ट्रेनर काइंड ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स एज वेल सो वी हैव ट्रेन समवे अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टैलेंट विद इन द ऑर्गनाइजेशन हु ड्राइव दीज वैल्यूज थ्रू आउट द ऑर्गनाइजेशन ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरिंग द ईयर I have completed almost two years with Garware Wall Ropes, and it's been a great journey. Um, and why I would say that there's a huge amount of focus and work what we do on the development side. I personally have grown in the organization to a great extent. The amount of uh, focus on uh, you know high potential development we have. There's a very structured programs interventions. Every individual like me are going through structured programs, which are management development programs. there's a huge amount of focus and hand holding even by the senior leadership when it comes to uh, you know developing employees also can you talk to us about women in key leadership roles at garwari wall ropes well uh, as far as women are concerned for last uh, few years uh, at least 3 to 4 years we have been very strongly focusing on uh, not just hiring them within the our organization naturally as uh, you would see within the data as well our uh, uh, strength of uh, women employees has significantly gone up uh, and it has increased uh, during uh, recent past but uh, with respect to nurturing mm. and uh, grooming them it's very important that uh, we provide them right kind of opportunity so most of these uh, women leaders who are the young talent hired from uh, Uh, premier b schools uh, they are given very exciting and challenging life projects they work very closely with top management team on daily basis there are regular reviews uh, and that's the way they are continuously nurtured and last but not the least mr mishra can you give us an insight into sambad what is it and how do you organize it what is sambad sambad all about it's very important uh, initiative what uh, we picked up uh, about 2 years back mm -hmm. for the organization but this particular sambad initiative is mainly for our workmen so these are the workmen as you would know that uh, our pune plant started somewhere in 76 why plant started somewhere in 94 95 that's the time so we have uh, almost 600 workmen in pune and uh, why plant so it's very important that these uh, uh, workmen who have been with us we remain connected with them otherwise majority of the engagement initiatives has been centered around white collar so this samvad is the initiative exclusively designed since last 2 years uh, for workmen at both the places pune and y and the variety of the things that we have identified somewhere around 20 samvad champions in pune and y both the places and these champions have one to one contact and connect with uh, key workmen of various departments uh, and they become the change uh, agent by and large majority of these people they feel uh, emotionally connected with the workplace and these are very natural it has to be done in a very natural way so our team uh, has been uh, well trained in both the plants and that's the way they have been continuously driving and in last few years uh, this initiative has uh, yielded very good results actually i am a part of samvad and uh, because this is a, our value bond so i am proud to be a part of this uh, initiative i talk to workers very informally and we motivate them counsel them guide them whenever they need, uh, need. and uh, certainly we support them in their tough times also we celebrate their birthdays of their ch children's organizing certain uh, activities for their children's reaching to office on time is mandatory in garware wall ropes and to ensure that the organization provides a hassle free travel experience ensuring that their employees reach and leave office on time Garware has a fantastic fleet services which covers approximately 40 kilometers in the surrounded area. Having a fleet service in an organization really helps employees for the safe travel during their long duration journeys. That's all we have time for on this episode of India's finest workplaces. Many thanks for watching.
Partner bei Times Influence.